How's it going guys? My name is Zach with The Movie Castle and today we're going to be taking a look at Hack Slash Euthanized. This is the first story in the first omnibus. I think it's the first Hack Slash story overall. If you guys know more about the history of the comic, I would love to hear it. I believe the idea is Omnibus 1 collected the Devil's Due Years. That was a much smaller publisher and I think they just put out one-shot stories whenever they could. Later on, the comic would move to Image for Omnibus 2, and they got a regular ongoing series over there. But Omnibus 1 has so many fun and cool stories in it. I read a lot of Hackslash in the pre-channel days, and I wasn't sure quite how to cover it because it knew if I talked about the whole Omnibus, it'd be this long, rambling video. But then I decided, you know what? Let's make a series of mini videos talking about every little plot arc. So that should be fun, reading through this book and talking about every little story. And Euthanized is a really good introduction to this world. We get the idea of what the world's like, who the characters are, and get to fight a new and unique villain. It really sets up the episodic structure. It's episodic but for slashers which is a really interesting idea. And if you guys like things like X-Files or Supernatural, but with a very comic book slasher twist to it, you can really find that here. Cassie, your main girl, is a final girl that after she survived her movie, took on a goth appearance and went out into the world hunting monsters. She got, she has layers to her, because of her past trauma, but she's also just a really fun character to follow around as she beats things up. This comic can be enjoyed both on a surface level and a deeper level, and I really just enjoy it. But Cassie will be teaming up with Vlad. He's this big, strong, kind of scary looking guy, but despite him looking like a slasher, he's a good guy and they meet each other and they're going to team up, and they're, they're quite the pair to see this goth girl and this big slasher character walking around trying to solve the mystery. And the mystery this time around is pretty interesting. It's a veterinary clinic, which I don't think I've seen too often in slasher movies. And of course, you're going to get people getting picked off as we reveal a fun, classic, tragic backstory and because it's at a veterinary clinic, the killer has the power to raise zombie animals from the dead. Imagine if they took Pet Cemetery and made it into a slasher movie. And that's an interesting concept right there. So overall, the first issue has to do a lot to set up the world, the characters, and the tone of the series. But then it goes in with a, a, a mixture, a good classically feeling slasher with this superpower pet cemetery twist. Overall, I think it was really fun. It's a good place to start, and I can definitely recommend this comic to slasher fans. I guess without further ado, let's switch to the close-up camera. I'll show you guys some more of the story specifics and some of the art. I'll be avoiding major spoilers, but without further ado, let's switch to the close-up camera. All right, here we are inside the castle taking a closer look at Hack Slash Euthanized. This is the uh, omnibus we're going to be reading from. Not a review of the omnibus itself, but just to give you an idea of just what all's in it, here's the table of contents. Look at all these, yeah, like I said, a lot of one-shot stories in here. Cannot wait till we get to the one with Chucky, though. Uh, but anyway, we're taking a look at the first story, Euthanized, and we get a pretty fun cover there. Her with the bat, Vlad behind her, and the villain up top. And after that, we get into the story proper. Again, no major spoilers, but let's take a peek and talk about all the, uh, the fun stuff here. We open up at a summer camp and we get to see a girl talking to this uh, teacher and a mysterious man in the mask kind of following them from a distance. 
However, we do get this trope turned on its head when we find out the teacher's the bad guy, and as he's about to murder her, we see that the supposed killer is going to be the one to stop him. Yeah, this was all a setup, and these are slasher hunters. However, when the guy doesn't get up again, they realize, yeah, he was a serial killer, but he was not a slasher. And then we get Cassie changing back into her standard outfit, and we get a, like, two-and-a-half-page backstory for her. I guess more important to go on your fun adventure, and this isn't so much an origin story, but we do get it explained here, where Cassie was a nerdy girl, and her mom was the lunch lady, and whenever someone picked on her daughter, she would kill them and turn them into mystery meat. Really gross, but she would die when the law approached her and she didn't want to be taken in. However, at her new school, the mother came back and would begin killing people again, and it was Cassie that had to take her out. Now, we do get a few pages later an explanation for what a slasher is in this universe, and it is a really fun explanation. They say basically a slasher is a type of undead, and they won't die super easy because of their anger, and they hate the things that are like the happy stuff in life that they don't get to partake in anymore. Love and youth and things like that. So that's why they target them. Well, after the encounter with her mother coming back, we do get to see her running out into the distance to begin her life as a slasher hunter, and we also get a quick word on how she meant Vlad, first expecting him to be a killer, but then finding out he's kind of a nice guy. So all that there, we get a good quick little setup before we jump into this veterinary clinic. We get to see one of the employees goes to his car, but it's just his girlfriend there. So classic prologue couple stuff. They start to make out when they hear something and there's a zombie cat. Not just the cat, the snake pops up in the seat and not just the snake, but the snake will regurgitate his last meal, this rat, which is also alive. You know, that's super fun and creative. And also, you know, the idea that, you know, you have a, an additional smaller little army you have to fight. And if you're going to fight animals, at least they're making pretty clear that these are already dead. And that sort of helps distance it, you know. But the girl gets away, sees someone she thinks might be helpful, but no, it's this, uh, this issue's villain. He's got a lab coat, he's got a doctor's mask, and he'll be your slasher, and he's carrying a shovel for some reason. Well, they're going to go in to investigate, they're going to find the doctor's office, and you get these two showing up. Like I said, just visually quite a a great image there. But you'll get the other main characters of this book. You get this couple, the lady who owns it, and then another one of the doctors that she's dating right now. And then to chase Cassie away, you'll also have the sheriff, and the two will talk about a strange and mysterious secret, and she apparently doesn't know anything about it, but she says the animals are acting up, there's something in the air. And of course, Cassie isn't going to be shooed off that easily. We get her with her binoculars waiting for something to happen. And of course, the killer is going to return. Don't want to go any farther than that to where having an, an animal slasher, that's, that's pretty cool. It's like, you know, mix Pet Cemetery in with a slasher movie. It's a fun, interesting, different tale. But you find out, you know, what this guy is and the disturbing backstory that led up to him. It's a lot of really good classic stuff, but we also introduce what the book's like and and get the basic, you know, introduction to the characters, set things up really clean and effectively, and we understand how from here on out this is going to be a good episodic story and all the different possibilities that could happen. Overall, a good introduction and it leads you wondering while the other creative ways an episode could go, definitely recommend it. Definitely say check it out. And we'll move on to the rest of this omnibus 
in later weeks. Anyway, have a good day. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. If you guys want to see more, how about my slasher playlist will come up at the bottom, and you can see me talk about a ton of slasher movies in there. I think it's like over a hundred videos or something. Anyway, have a good day. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Relevant playlist on the bottom. Have a good day now.